Hi, this is Ethan, and today I'm going to be doing a hookah product review on the Shisha Back. Um, in case you don't know, the Shisha Back is a new product on the market, been out for a couple months now, and basically it performs four functions. Um, if you have dampness in your stem or your washable hose, there's a 600 watt blower that blows out the dampness. Um, it ignites the coals, it stokes your hookah for you, and it also will clean out your hose of any particles or kind of supposed to get out some of the background flavors that are stuck in there maybe. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of expensive. It cost me around $260, so it was a little pricey, but um, I thought I'd buy it anyway because I had a little cold mishap with my roommates and they were a little pissed because they didn't want coal burns in their carpet so something had to give so instead of getting a hot plate and a air compressor I thought I would just get something a little bit more compact so I decided to buy this and I just got it in yesterday so I thought I would do a kind of little product review for you guys since the only ones that I can find on YouTube are in German and that doesn't really help me much because my German is about as good as a babbling two-year-old. So today, first thing I'm going to do is I just kind of want to show you guys what the shisha vac looks like um, and that type of stuff. Let me unplug it from the wall here. Yeah, it's almost like a small coffee maker. It's kind of heavy, but uh, basically you have. This is your in and your out for your blower. The cold ignition is obviously in the center. Um, on the side here, you have a filter that is screwed in with a really tiny screw, kind of annoying to screw in. Um, and then at the top here, we have another filter that kind of filters out the coal smell um, that natural coals have, kind of just like that burning wood smell to it. So it has that stuff with it. Um, the black parts up here are LED displays that just kind of tell you what function you're using. Uh, when you're using the burner, a symbol will pop up that tells you that it's on, and when it gets hot enough, this symbol will pop up for it when it's hot enough to burn skin. And it'll stay on even if the shisha back is off to let you know that the machine is hot, and well, it still is, and to be careful when you're handling it. So. The LED and the interface for this are actually really simple. Uh, there's a small little power button on here that turns it on. Uh, it seems like it runs on really low wattage. The circuiting here in our house is really, it's pretty crappy, but uh, it doesn't dim the lights or anything. So it seems like it runs on a really low wattage. But uh, I'll just kind of give you a demonstration on how this stuff works. I'm going to plug it back in here into the wall. That thing's really annoying. Um, move the webcam a little bit closer so you guys can maybe see this a little better. Um, I just cleaned out my KM Classic Guy stem, so it's yeah, it's still a little bit damp. So basically, what you do is you just kind of take this, and then the out button. This is probably gonna be really loud, just so you're forewarned. So if you want to turn down your speakers. But you just kind of leave it in for a couple seconds. As soon as I turn on the power. You can really feel the air blowing through there. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty strong blower. I need to blow it out a little bit more. But uh, pretty much, I mean, after that small little brief session that it was in there, the uh, the water droplets that were in there, uh, they're gone. They're not in there anymore. Uh, they were definitely blown out. I, I doubt you could see it, but you could actually see the water when I was using it dripping out of the end of the stem. So that part of the shisha back functions 
pretty damn well. Um, I, I definitely am a fan of that. I'm going to wet my seal here real quick. But uh, that's that's probably one of the parts of the shisha bag that I absolutely love. Um, stick this on. Grab my hose real quick, and I'll show you the cleaning for this. Basically, it's the same thing as drying out the dampness for this. You just stick the part that you stick into the stem into the out and then your tip into your in and it puts the air through the hose and then puts it through a filter and just kind of blows out any extra juices or if you've recently washed your washable hose it blows out the dampness it just it kind of knocks out all that extra crap in there you don't want um, if you have a lot of dampness in there you can get mildew in your hose and that's really gross because you want to smoke that but uh, that's pretty much how that works, so I'll just kind of show you that a little bit and tell you if, if it does its job well or not. The last thing I had in this was Fantasia Triple X, and I can kind of taste it. it. It's not stained, but you kind of you get a little bit of a hint in it. You can tell there was something else in this hose previously. Um, so let's see if this thing does its job. <laughs> taste this and see if I can taste any difference. Um, I can still taste the Fantasia. Um, I didn't expect it to blow it all out because even when I've used other compressors it doesn't blow the flavor out, but I can definitely taste background flavors that have been knocked to the tip, I would say. Um, a little bit of dampness too. Um, not sure where the dampness came from, but I can taste a little bit of dampness from it. Uh, wash out the tip there. Um, but yeah, it. I think it definitely knocks out some of the background flavor that's in your hose that you don't really know that's there. So that part does its job pretty well too, I think, at least to the extent it can. Um, the shisha mat comes with, for your ignition system, this little nifty basket here. And have a little, kind of like tripod that you can just set this on. Um, pretty much, you just, I'm using coconaras today, put two in the basket. Just kind of throw them in the basket, and you stick it on the system, and it slides down onto it. And there's a little timer here. The top part, it's like glass half full, and then the other one is a full glass. So you can set your timer anywhere for however long you think your coals are going to need to take, so, which is pretty nice that it's not just a set amount of time. I'm going to turn mine on to a full, which takes about eight minutes, and probably I'm going to flip them um, like any other normal natural coals when you're lighting them. But I will stop the video now while these coals are lighting and then I will show you how well it lit the coals and I will show you the stoking. So thanks for watching this half of the video. I will be right back with the other half of the video once these coals are finally done. And just to kind of show you how this thing does with coals. Um, I know they look a little black but I flipped them and trust me these things are hot. I can feel the heat all the way up here. They definitely are done. They were on fire when they were on the burner. So I'm going to set these things on the bowl and I'll show you guys the stoking feature that the shisha back has. Uh, when, when the coals are done it emits a really shrill beeping noise so you'll definitely know that the coals are done they say that you should take the coals out immediately so that you're not going to do any damage to the burner itself. So when this is done, make sure you take the coals out right away. Show you the stoking on this. And this is probably going to be loud, so if you want to turn your speakers down, probably do it now. Um, the, the airflow is adjustable 
There's a little dial here with a dot on it that you can move left and right, right being more powerful of a suction. So whatever you need for your hoopa, you can adjust it to. And I'm going to stoke it here so you can hopefully see it bubbling in the video. And the hookah is stoked. So I'll show you a few puffs off this thing while it's been stoked. You can see how well the clouds are from it. Just have some Starbuzz Mint Colossus up there in my funnel bowl, so... Pretty good clouds. So uh, overall, uh, I don't think the Shisha Vec is really that bad of a product. Um, I really like it because I think it's a safer way to do the coals where I'm not going to drop them as much because before I got it, I was carrying my coals from the kitchen all the way to the under, other end of the house where I smoke at. And I was always afraid I was going to drop the coals and I almost did one day. Um, I also really like the fact that I can get the dampness out of my hose as well as any other background flavors that might affect the flavor of the hookah. And I don't have to wait anymore for my stem to dry out before I smoke. I can just stick it in there for a couple seconds and it's good to go. So overall, uh, product's pretty expensive, um, but I definitely think it's worth the money if you can buy it. So uh, this is Ethan. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Hope everyone has a nice day.